Welcome to the Bar Exam Toolbox Podcast. Today we are discussing failure as feedback and ways to get in the right mindset for studying. Your Bar Exam Toolbox hosts are Allison Monahan and Lee Burgess. That's me. We're here to demystify the bar exam experience so you can study effectively, stay sane, and hopefully pass and move on with your life. We're the co-creators of the Law School Toolbox, the Bar Exam Toolbox, and the career-related website Career Dicta. Allison also runs the Girl's Guide to Law School. If you enjoy the show, please leave a review on your favorite listening app and check out our sister podcast, the Law School Toolbox Podcast. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can reach us via the contact form on barexamtoolbox.com, and we'd love to hear from you. And with that, let's get started. Welcome back to the Bar Exam Toolbox podcast. A great tagline I saw recently was failure is feedback, not final. I think this is a great way to try to frame a bar exam failure. You can learn a lot from your score report, what happened in the exam room and how the studying did or did not work for you. Sure, you didn't get the score that you wanted or needed. We get that. But instead of just focusing on that, let's focus on what you can learn from that score report to plan for next time. For example, what is good in the score report? What subjects did you do the best in? What part of the test did you score the highest? What did you do in your studying that you think got you to that success? How can you do more of that the next time? Where did you miss the mark? Did you feel confidently prepared for that part of the test? If not, where did your preparation fail you? And were you overextended or burned out? If so, what do you need to add next time around to have a better system in place? Outside of just evaluating your scores, what can you do to change your mindset? First, try visualization. Imagine yourself opening the letter with the passing score, feeling elated and accomplished. Play this kind of success video in your mind daily. Picture yourself confidently answering questions and overcoming tricky facts or time pressure during the exam. Visualize staying calm under pressure. Remember, this stuff is used by athletes and other high performers. There is a lot of data out there that it really works. Now, what about journaling? Before you prep, write a letter or journal entry to yourself about why you want to be a lawyer and pass this test. Reconnect with your motivation and purpose and revisit during the times that you feel down or are struggling. Write a letter to your future lawyer self about the process and your future success. Writing from a place of genuine encouragement and belief in yourself can be very positive. Sure, it can sound cheesy, but who will know you did it but you? Now here's an example of a letter I might write to myself. Dear Lee, I know you are feeling discouraged about not passing the bar exam on this attempt. It is totally understandable, but I believe that you can do it. Think of everything that you've already overcome to get to this point. You made it through three years or more of law school, which means you can definitely conquer this too. This setback is temporary. Years from now, no one will even ask you about when you passed the bar exam or if you sat for it more than once. This feels so big, but it is just one step on your path to becoming the amazing, competent, and successful lawyer I know you can be. Keep visualizing yourself in your future job, impressing your clients, supervisors, and judges with your preparation and legal skills. When self-doubt starts to creep in, remember how hard you have worked and how determined you are. You are resilient. You have done hard things. Take it one day at a time and make sure you are taking action every day, studying and not studying, to invest in this goal. Next time this year, visualize looking at your license hanging on your wall. You have got this. Sincerely, your biggest fan, aka your current self. The key to exercises like this or a visualization is to come from a place of genuine encouragement and belief in yourself. If that is hard, try thinking about how you would encourage a loved one or someone you really care about. Remember, you know yourself and what you need to hear when times are challenging. So do you like this idea of journaling every day? Well, think about having some daily prompts that you can use. Here are some suggestions. What is my plan for today? What potential distractions may arise and how will I manage them? What is the most important for me to focus on right now? How can I prioritize key tasks? When did I feel the most motivated and productive recently? And how can I include that in my study day today? What am I most proud of accomplishing in my studies this week? 
What has felt the most challenging this week and what can I do to improve? If I could talk to myself earlier this week, what advice would I give? Do I need any new resources to achieve my goals? What will feel like a win in the next week and how can I celebrate progress? You can do this sort of an exercise to start your day or even finish your day. But evaluation and reflection is an important part of creating a great mindset. Have you ever tried affirmations? What about trying to write down empowering statements like, I am capable and intelligent, and repeating them aloud or looking at them daily throughout the study process? When I was pregnant and getting ready for childbirth, affirmations were one of the things heavily recommended by birth educators to get me mentally prepared. Here are some affirmations you can consider to see if they resonate with you about your bar prep. I will be prepared and ready for this exam. I am calm, focused, and in control. I trust the knowledge I have gained through diligent study and practice. My confidence is growing every day. I accept and learn from my setbacks. Every mistake brings me closer to mastery. I have what it takes to pass this exam. I make progress and win small victories every day. Now let's talk about mindfulness. Mindfulness or meditation, just five to 15 minutes a day, can be extremely helpful in dealing with stress and cultivating a positive mindset. Why does everyone love mindfulness for the bar exam? Well, because it reduces stress and anxiety. Mindfulness lowers cortisol levels, controls fight or flight reactivity, and promotes level-headedness. This allows you to study and take the exam with less anxiety. Everyone studying for the bar exam has levels of stress and anxiety. Anything you can do to calm your mind is great. It also builds resilience. By learning to stay present and sit with discomfort, mindfulness develops grit to handle setbacks. Failures feel less catastrophic. I think this is an under-discussed idea. We want to be resilient, especially in the exam room. Anything you can do to be more confident in yourself and handle feelings of frustration and fear that come up will be a positive change in your studying. Mindfulness can grow self-awareness. Mindfulness helps you tune into thoughts, emotions, and self-talk. You can catch negative thought patterns before they spiral and reframe them. Self-talk is really important. Check in and make sure you aren't saying anything to yourself that you wouldn't say to a dear friend or even a child. You can even imagine talking to a kid version of yourself. It enhances focus and memory. Mindfulness trains you to pay close attention and be fully present. This helps absorb and retain knowledge while studying. Removing distractions and making your brain work at its best is going to help you study and retain information. Mindfulness provides perspective. Zooming out through mindfulness reminds you that one test does not define your worth or abilities. Life goes on. It grounds you in the world and reminds you what to be grateful for, even in times of struggle. Never tried it? Well, here are some suggested activities. Try a body scan meditation. Lie down in a comfortable position and bring attention to each part of your body slowly from head to toe, noticing any tension or relaxation. Try deep breathing. Inhale deeply through your nose, allowing your belly to expand. Exhale slowly through pursed lips. Repeat for 5 to 10 cycles, focusing on your breath. 4, 7, 8, breathing. Inhale for a count of 4, hold for 7, and then exhale for 8. The longer exhale triggers relaxation. Repeat this several times. Progressive muscle relaxation. Systematically tense and relax each muscle group in your body. Notice the contrast and let tension melt away. This is a great one to do right before bed. Yoga Nidra also called yogic sleep. This guides you through different levels of consciousness and awareness while lying comfortably. This is somewhat different than meditation. We have linked to a 10-step how-to guide in the show notes to walk you through it. Or you can Google or check out YouTube to learn more. It is yoga without all the poses and with more of a guided meditation element. But you do need to practice it to get all the benefits. What about mindful walking? Take a short walk moving slowly. Keep your senses tuned to your body and surroundings. Or try a treadmill desk. I actually prep for this podcast while walking on my treadmill. It isn't exactly mindful to work while walking, but it can mix it up and help you be more focused. An old standard in the mindfulness community is the loving kindness meditation. Wishing wellness and happiness upon yourself and others. Feel compassion radiate through you. You can send love and kindness to people you see, 
or just to those in your life that need it. Okay, so today we have run through a lot of ideas about how to change your mindset and reframe failure. Try incorporating some of these into your bar prep and let us know through our comment form or on social media what worked best for you. And with that, we're out of time. If you enjoyed this episode of the Bar Exam Toolbox podcast, please take a second to leave a review and rating on your favorite listening app. We'd really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or Allison at lee at baregzamtoolbox.com or allison at baregzamtoolbox.com. Or you can always contact us via our website contact form at baregzamtoolbox.com. Thanks for listening and we'll talk soon.